So what's the weather like in Opaca? About 72. Yeah. Birds are singing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Inside yeah, the it's building. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's off and on freezing rain, maybe two inches accumulation today. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> freezing rain is the worst. Yeah. Yes. My neighbor right here is a retired school superintendent from Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, her, her yard is, uh, it's so lush. She's, she's got irrigation and it's full of plants. I don't know if I can aim it down there, but oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a little bit different than up here. Yeah. yeah. That water looks a little different than what we have up here. Yeah. You want me to take, there, there's no ice you? anywhere. Yeah. It's, uh, Jim, Jim, you want me to take this outside and show you what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the one thing I always told people, though, when I was in Florida, I can walk on water back here in Wisconsin. You can't do it down there in Florida. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there was a photographer out on this, out in the park here, and he was getting pictures of these ospreys catching fish. And it's, uh, he had some really good pictures. They swoop down and they, they, uh, they get a, a good sized fish and go flying off with it. Okay, what time we got? Nine o'clock. Yep. Time to start. Are we good to go? I, I'm good here. We're all set, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you. I'm calling this meeting of the Wapaka County Planning and Zoning Committee to order. This <laughs> meeting and all other meetings of this committee are open to the public. Proper notice has been posted and given to the media in accordance with Wisconsin statutes so that the citizenry may be aware of the time, place, and agenda of this meeting. This meeting is broadcast for remote access on a live stream at the YouTube address printed. This meeting may inadvertently cause a quorum of other county committees or the county board of supervisors. No business decisions of any other committee or the board of supervisors will be conducted at this meeting. Uh, roll call. So. Uh, you guys tell me, is, is uh, Terry there? Terry is not here. We have, we have Lee in the room with us today, and it'll be you and Dennis. I, we did talk to Terry yesterday, and he is unable to attend. Um, so there's okay. just three of us waiting for a quorum. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, have you had a chance to review the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second it. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to approve the agenda as published. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Then there's the, the minutes from January 11th. Make a motion to approve as printed. Second. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to approve the January 11th minutes as printed. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Thank you. Uh, at this point, we open the floor for public comment for items that are not on the agenda. No action will be taken, but it is a chance to uh, just make a comment. And uh, did we miss the minutes uh, from the January 11th meeting? We just approved them. We did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. I got to mark them off with my pencil. Sure. Any public comment? Any public comment? Any public comment? No, no. We just have okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, how about supervisor reports? I have none. I have none. I don't either. So with that, we'll uh, go on to the first public hearing.
The Planning and Zoning Committee meeting and public hearings to be considered today, Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022, are open to the public. Anyone present may speak, providing they stand up and identify themselves and have filled out a notice of public appearance sheet, which is located in the box by the entrance door. Anyone attending via phone or Zoom meeting may speak, provided they identify themselves by name and address before doing so. We are recording these proceedings, so it is important that you state your name and address before addressing the committee. We request that you do not interfere with or interject comments while another person has the floor. The chair will permit adequate time for anyone wishing to speak and may compel the attendance of witnesses. The following hearings have been published as class one and class two notices in accordance with chapter 985 of the Wisconsin statutes and will be heard by this committee. Number one, the comprehensive plan amendments in the towns of Larrabee and Mukwa. Number two, Barry D. Schrader. Number three, Faith Community Church. Number four, Charles W. and Karen J. Geiger. Number five, also Charles W. and Karen J. Geiger. Number six, Reeski LLC. Number seven, Dave <coughs> Hertz et al. And number eight, Lynn O. Grayson. The County Zoning Committee is a delegate, delegated unit of the County Board by ordinance to consider zoning ordinance amendments and decide conditional uses. The Zoning Committee is interested in hearing all pertinent evidence. Witnesses in favor of the application will be called first, those opposed second, and then others. After each witness has appeared, he or she may be questioned by the committee. Persons present who are not appearing as witnesses will be allowed to propose relevant questions to be put to the committee. However, the chair reserves the right to rule on relevancy and no member of the audience will be allowed to give testimony without being sworn in. Because a record of this hearing is being recorded, it is imperative that each witness or speaker identify themselves and their interest in the subject matter of the hearing before speaking. They speak in the direction of the recorder on the presentation table. A time limit on the presentations may be imposed. I do request that you avoid repetition and limit your remarks to the subject matter being considered. Neither the committee nor your neighbors will benefit from hearing statements that repeat opinions which have already been expressed or that relate to matters other than the case before the committee. Personal attacks or abuse of testimony and gross hearsay, rumor, or gossip will be ruled out of order by the chair, subject to immediate appeal to the majority of the committee. With that, we will call the first public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the applications for a comprehensive plan amendment. The proposed amendments to the comprehensive plan to the preferred land use map are within the town of Larrabee to amend the preferred land use category for a part of parcel located in the northeast quarter of the northwest quarter of section 21, <coughs> town of Larrabee, part parcel 1021 21 2, and part of a parcel located in the northwest quarter of the northeast quarter of section 21, town of Larrabee, part parcel 1021 12 1, lying south of Highway 45, Wapaka County, Wisconsin from commercial to agriculture on approximately nine, 8.8 acres to accommodate a lot combination with the neighboring property. The town of Mukwa to amend the preferred land use category for a parcel located in the northeast quarter of the southwest quarter of section four, town of Mukwa, parcel number 15043317, and a parcel located in the northeast quarter of the southwest quarter of section four, town of Mukwa, part parcel number 15043318, Lying along State Road 54, fire number E8257, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, from residential and agriculture to industrial, on approximately six, 5.8569 acres to accommodate a boundary line adjustment with the neighboring property. With that, I will read the names of the persons notified of the hearings. Lynn Jepson, Town of Laramie, um, excuse me, Chairman. Sharon Pingle, Town Clerk, David Beerguts, Town Supervisor, Jean Meyer, Town Supervisor, Opaca County Corporation Council, Wisconsin DOT, Kelly Nicklaus, and David Muret, Department of Natural Resources, Dale Resedeck, Opaca County Non-Metallic Mine Operators, David D. and Deborah L. Buntrock, Randolph L. Shuseski, Lisa Erdman et al., Charles W. and Karen J. Geiger, Grover Metal Building Erectors Limited, Pam and Bob Gretzinger, LLC, Stephen Hill, Jehovah's Witnesses, Clintonville Congregation, John A. Johnson, 
Justman Family Limited Irrevocable Trust, William H. Kasubi, Kirsten Holdings LLC, Verna M. Kushel Revocable Trust, David L. and Joan J. Millard, Roger E. Jr. and Margaret F. Schilling, Mark A. Schulze, Gaylord D. and Jean C. Schweitzer Revocable Trust, Lawrence L. Schauger, Robert and Amy Steenbach. Also notified, Jim Kearns, Town of Mukwa Chair, Jeanette Zielinski, Town Clerk, Lee Shaw, Town Supervisor, Matthew Mansky, Town Supervisor, Opaca County Corporation Council, also same DOT contacts, Kelly Nicklaus and Damon Moret, Dale Rezebeck, Department of Natural Resources, GFL Solid Waste Midwest, Opaca County Non-Metallic Mine Operators, Otto E. and Deborah J. Knuth, Betty Larson, Paul J. and Maureen J. Mueller, Stephen O. and Christine L. Quintance, John Rudzinski and P. Beresiford, David G. and Wendy Stern, Martin J. Wilson, Martin J. Wilson et al., Janet Bauer, Ricky L. Danke, Darla D. DeRochers, James H. Fossbender, GFL Solid Waste with Midwest LLC, Terry R. Lind and Renee R. Gration, Lynn O. Gration, Lynn O. Gration, Brenda L. and Dwayne W. Grove and Betty Larson, Brenda L. and Dwayne W. Grove. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee will now hear the application for the comprehensive plan amendments in the towns of Larrabee and Mukwa. Will the planning and zoning office please present the application? So we, for this comprehensive plan amendment, there are two, two distinct areas that we're working on, both of which have um, companion applications that will be working on zone map amendments later on in the meeting. Um, the first one that we're looking at is in the town of Larrabee along the Highway 45 corridor. Um, I don't know if we have the PDFs to go on here. So throughout that corridor, they had originally identified that area as being planned for commercial. Um, there is some commercial use that's in that area, but it is utilized as agriculture. Um, the intent of the owner is to combine these two parcels with the parcels to the south of that that are already zoned as it is agriculture retention. For it. So we would be looking to amend the comprehensive plan from commercial to agriculture to facilitate that, uh, that boundary line adjustment um, for this particular one. And Ryan, it's in the same PDF. We have to scroll down. So that's yeah. a little bit of the, that's the certified survey map that's proposed. Yeah. Um, highlighted area is the subject area that we're dealing with, but they are to be combined with lot two and lot four of that certified survey map is depicted on that. Um, the other one that we have going on, if you keep going down, if uh, the PDF there, we have the same one. It's in the town of Muck. It's kind of, it's not a bit back up. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's very good. It's in the town of Muckwa. Um, it is uh, Gratian Sanitation's uh, property. There is a bit of a, uh, I call it a spillover of the, the use off of the original parcel. Um, they are looking to do a boundary line adjustment to include some of that area. I believe the property has been sold to GFL and they want that area to be incorporated with the base parcel with it. Um, right now the base parcel is zoned as industrial the surrounding parcel is zoned as agriculture uh, equipment transition, I believe. Um, the, the intent is to have both of them zoned the rural industrial intensive. So to facilitate that, we would need to change the planning uh, preferred land use map to industrial. For both of these applications, both in the town of Matwa and in the, the, the town of Larrabee, the townships have already um, amended their comprehensive plans um, and are now looking for us to amend it to be able to facilitate the zone changes and boundary line adjustments for both of these properties. Okay, thank you, Jason. Uh, is there any testimony in favor of this application? Any um, testimony? Do you, know? yeah, do you want to come up and that's where you Mr. Chairman, if you have somebody approaching, you want to say something? Yeah, yeah. Okay, could I, could I ask you to raise your right hand and, and testify? 
you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you. Have a seat, state your name and address, and tell us what the application's about. Oh. Um, my name's Tim Miller. My address is W1011 Brookner Road, Naholstein, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm a general manager at GFL, uh, kind of overseeing this site. We're just looking to expand a little bit, uh, bring in a few more trucks, like uh, we picked up City of Wapaka and stuff like that, and uh, hopefully grow some more and just uh, a little bit more room to uh, keep everything good there. Okay. Well, it uh, seems pretty straightforward and uh, yeah. these these trucks keep getting bigger too and they need a little more room to turn around oh, too. I, I get it, so yeah. Is there any other questions from the committee? No. no. I'll let you know too that there will be Okay. Well, well, thank you. We're going to call for more testimony, but just stick around until uh, we get this hearing done in case there's more questions. Thank you. Is there any other testimony in favor of this application? Any other testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any testimony in favor of this application? Um, if you want to, you can. Okay, if you want I don't know. Okay. So, Mr. Chairman, we have another individual um, appearing to testify. Okay, thank you. Would you please raise your right hand? You swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I didn't catch all that, but I'm, yes, I'm sure he said. Yeah, okay. Yes, he did. Yeah, affirmative, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Yep. Okay, thank you. Please have a seat, state your name and address, and uh, and uh, tell us what, what's on your mind there. I'm Lynn Gratian, we're the, we were the Gratian disposal here that we sold to the GFL. Um, we started out with two trucks, which they're coming in bigger trucks, expanding area, where we were at the point we couldn't expand, it took to my point. So we need more land for that is what this is. And just more growth of the company and larger, and just adding on more to their containers and the other equipment. And that's the purpose of this uh, annexation of this land changing land. That's all I really have to add. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Any other questions mm -hmm. from the committee? Yeah, I was just wondering, is there a purchase uh, agreement in, in, in progress in regard to expansion here, or is this some property that you already own? Question was so the question was is there a purchase agreement in in the, the hopper um, between you and GFL for that additional land? Yes. So that and just to clarify, the base parcel has already been sold, right? Yes. Okay. Did you did, were you able to catch up, Supervisor Cussman? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, they they do have a they do have a, a, a purchase agreement in place for the surrounding parcel and have yeah. already sold the base parcel. Right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Uh, if not, we'll call for more testimony. Is there any other testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call. Is there any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Yes, there are, Mr. Chairman. Um, I have the town recommendation form for each of these. Um, for the first one, Charles Geiger um, is an agent of Kyle Fisher, parcel number, part parcel 1021212 and part parcel 1021211. Um, current preferred land use district is commercial, proposed preferred land use district agricultural. What are the existing uses of adjacent lands to this parcel and are they compatible agriculture? Yes, they are compatible. Is the proposal consistent with the grant preferred land use as found in the town's comprehensive plan indicated as yes. 
Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan? Also indicated as yes. I recommend approval um, from the town plan commission signed by Lynn Jepson, um, dated November 11, 2021. Also recommend approval by the town board signed again by Lynn Jepson and also Stacy Jepson, both dated November 11, 2021. Second town recommendation form um, for Lynn Gration, um, also lists GFL solid waste um, for parcel number 15043117 and part of 15043118. Current preferred land use district is residential, proposed preferred land use um, district is industrial. What are the existing uses of adjacent lands and are they compatible residential and agricultural? Um, Town Planning Commission recommends approval signed by Lee Shaw dated October 20th, 2021. Um, also signed by the Town Board is recommending approval signed by Jim Kearns and Jeanette Zelensky dated December 14th of 2021. Also have correspondence from Kelly Nicklaus, the DOT, indicating that they have no issues with the proposed plans. Okay, thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in light of the fact that the townships have already amended their comprehensive plan for this, we are absolutely in favor of uh, the amendments being approved. Okay, so, so what we have before us is a comp plan amendment for both of these parcels on, on one resolution. That's correct. That's right. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> if there, is there any further discussion? Any other questions? We need to do them separately or together. I think since we're approving the resolution, we can do it in one. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the resolution. Okay, thank you. I'll move by that. Thank you. Move by Supervisor Muck to approve the, the comp plan amendment uh, resolution 47, correct? Seconded by Supervisor Kussman. Roll call vote, Muck? Yes. Kussman? Yes. Nygaard, yes. Motion carries. Is there a motion to close the hearing? Motion to close the hearing. Moves. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to close the hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Thanks. With that, we'll go to the next one. With that, we'll call the second public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Ferry D. Schrader, located in the southwest quarter of the southwest quarter of Section 31, Town of Lynn, lying along Twin Lake Road, fire number E2510, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, parcel 12-31-332, for a conditional use permit, recreational vehicle in excess of 30 days, in the Agriculture and Woodland Transition, AWT, district on approximately two acres. I will read the, the names of the persons notified of this hearing. Steve Gall, Town Chair. Colleen McCoy, Town Clerk. Cindy Hardy, Town Supervisor. Andy Jensen, Town Supervisor. Department of Natural Resources, Dale Razabek. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Kyle Zabung. Wapaka County Corporation Council, Barry D. Schrader, Scott F. and Dawn S. Seward, K. M. Zelenka et al., Scott F. Seward, Patrick M. and Janice M. Enright, MBG, BVG, LLC. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on-site inspection of this property. The committee will now hear the application for Barry D. Schrader. Will their applicant or their agent please come forward to be sworn in to testify? Thank you. Please raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Please have a seat and state your name and address. And uh, mm -hmm. there's... I believe there's a microphone on the table. If you can kind of talk in that general direction. So tell us, tell us what this is about. I want to keep my travel trailer on my property. Um, I guess the 
rule is you can't, if you don't have a dwelling on the property, I want to keep it there till June um, for a conditional land use permit. I paid uh, the, the zoning permit fee and I also paid the township a $700 fee. So, so th this is for a camper that you're spending more than 30 consecutive days in, correct? Or am I wrong? Yes, it's on my property. It's actually eight and a quarter acres. That's a two acre parcel in the front. And then there's six and a quarter acres behind it. And then, um, but I just want to leave it, leave it on the property. And um, that's, that's about it. Sure. Until, until June, I, I think I told the council until, until June um, first, and I'd give them a decision whether I'm either going to, I'll either move the travel trailer or I will uh, sell the property or build, build on the property. So, so then just for the committee's uh, uh, clarification, whatever, the, the structure that's on the property is just an accessory structure. It's a garage with a shop building um, up on the back, yes. That's sure. Was house at one time when it burned down. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, okay. It's a 30 foot travel trailer. It's not old or beat up or anything. Um, the property's in um, good shape. Everything looks nice. It's kept. Okay. Is is there a, a porta potty or a septic system? Uh, yes. Yeah, on the yes, property? It's a septic system and a well on the property right there where it's right there where it's parked. Um, okay. Also, the neighbor, there's only one neighbor actually or, that you can see, and that's the, directly across the street, and that's Pat and Jan um, Enright. She came over and talked to me about it, said that she got a notice for this hearing, said she, that they had no problem with it or anything with me having it there for being around there. So, um, okay. I pretty much stick to myself. I don't bother anybody. So. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll make a decision by June. And I'll either remove it or build or sell the property. The permit will be good for the year, though, right? I mean, uh, or you is know, there a condition on the, the, the time? The township had, had oh. put it, and you can put it in place. Yeah, they okay. said right. put it as for an extension, et cetera. Chip, I, think that's <clears throat> I, I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, okay. Um, um, maybe uh, um, to save some questions. I'm buying it now. Right now, so um, I it's a matter of if he, if he can come up with enough money to cover it. But okay. and I'm also looking for houses out of state too. So yeah, sure. Okay, uh, maybe maybe if staff could uh, help me out a little bit here, uh, if, would it be okay to jump ahead and read the conditions that the town uh, wants on this yeah. at this yes. point? My might guide the questions a little better. Yeah, absolutely, Mr. Chairman. And the only condition that they had put on is that the RV be removed by, by June 1st of 2000. Okay. So that, that was the town directive. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, if there's no other questions from the co committee at this point, uh, you can return to your seat. Just stick around in case some more questions come up before we're done. I'm gonna call for more testimony. Is Thank there you. any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Mr. Chairman, I have the town recommendation form um, for Barry Schrader for parcel number 1231-332 on two acres, current zoning district of AWT Agriculture and Woodland Transition. Um, if applicable, please list recommended conditions for the Wapaka County Planning and Zoning Committee to consider. As stated before, um, the township is recommending the camper has to be removed on or before June 1st of 2022. Um, it is signed by the Town Plan Commission to recommend approval, signed by Art Richardson, dated January 4th of 2022. 
Town Board also recommends approval signed by Steve Gall and Colleen McCoy, both dated January 10th, 2022. Okay, thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in light of the township's position of the camper being there until June 1st of 2022, we would, we would recommend approval with that condition. Okay, are there any other questions that has come up uh, from the committee members? I don't have any questions, but I will make a motion to approve this uh, this uh, um, <clears throat> this application uh, with the town's recommendation. I'll second. second it. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck <coughs> to approve this conditional use permit with the conditions that the town has listed. Uh, roll call vote. Kussman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Nygaard, yes. Motion carries. Motion to close the hearing. Second. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to close the hearing. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Thank you. On to the third. Okay. All right. With that, we will call this third public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Faith Community Church. Located in the southwest border of the southeast border of section 36, town of Farmington, lying along County Road K, fire number N2541, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, parcel number 0536433, for a conditional use permit indoor institutional in the rural residential RR district on approximately 7.14 7 acres. I will read the names of the persons notified of the hearing. Caroline Murphy, town chair. Kathy Kaza, Town Clerk, Craig Nelson, Town Supervisor, Mark W. Jensen, Town Supervisor, Robin Erdahl, is, who is the agent listed, Wapaka County Corporation Council, Wapaka County Highway Office, Casey Byersdorf, Brandon Christensen, Paige L. Schultz and Nicholas J. Diaz, Dennis A. and Patrick K. Dulski, Michael J. and Rebecca C. Ellers, Faith Community Church, Michael Filiatrol, Michael J. Filiatrol, Patsy E. Geiger, Health and Fitness Headquarters, Health and Fitness Headquarters at all, Brian P. Hofferberg, Stephen H. and Patricia L. House, Kenneth R. and Natalie J. Mishka, Nathan A. and Ivy K. Newell, O'Connell Real Estate LLC, George A. Jr. and Joyce A. Salinas, Town of Dayton, Alfred and Joan Valcourt, Kenneth R. Wiegert and Wendy B. Wilson et al. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on-site inspection of this property. The committee will now hear the application for Faith Community Church. Will the applicant or their agent please come forward to be sworn in to testify? Thank you. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Have a seat, state your name and address, and tell us what the application is about. Robin Erdahl, E2311 Julie Lane, Wapaka. Uh, it's my private residence. The Fifth Community Church is N2541 County Road K, Wapaka. Um, so I basically, well, Packer Christian Academy came to us asking us if we'd be willing to host a few classes during uh, this school season. Um, my understanding is they're doing this in order for their facility to have maintenance to um, come under code, uh, essentially, that um, we've been doing it um, temporarily uh, for for a while now and um, as far as faith is concerned we've had no issues um, seems to be fairly successful uh, the transition for the students back to wca has been delayed um, primarily due to uh, the construction company issues getting materials issues getting personnel uh, is, is my understanding um, but Faith would like to continue doing this and 
would like to continue doing this with uh, government's approval. So um, I guess I'm not quite sure all that um, Farmington has approved or not approved and all that uh, Wapak County needs to uh, uh, approve or, or not. Um, so, so I'm here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Speak. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, I may have missed it. Could you please state what your relationship is to Faith Community Church? Are you staff yes, or? Yes, I'm the director of operations at Faith Community Church. Okay. So I am on staff. Please. Thank you. And then just, just to clarify what the township was looking for, um, they were uh, allowing the use until December 31st, 2022, to make sure that you have enough time. Um, if it wasn't completed by that time, um, then we're looking at bringing it back in and there was some potential other conditions. And just for the committee, um, is, that, is that enough time for you to, do you feel it will be taken care yes, of? Yes, from what time? I've been told by WCA, that will be more than enough time. And we, we appreciate the wide birth of time to, to make sure things are done correctly on their end and they're not rushed. Yeah, thank you. So. Okay, so uh, Town of Farmington has, has approved this till de the end of December of this year, correct? Yeah, that's okay. Right. That's right. Uh, I'm wondering if, again, if, if I could beg a favor and, and uh, have you just kind of skim through if there's other conditions from the Town of Farmington on this if that would uh, lead a few questions or clarify some thoughts. The only one listed is um, Planning Commission and Town Board voted to extend the conditional use permit to the end of 2022 because of the difficulty getting building material. Okay. Well, I, I think we all understand the, the, the weird situation going on with building supplies and, and labor in some areas too. So, uh, just my comment that does not seem unreasonable in any way so i don't know what any of the rest of your thoughts are on this uh, there is a permit in place now we're just extending it or there's not there's, we, no. there's right this was a temporary situation for that and it extended a little longer than um, what we were expecting it for it so we want to make sure that everything was uh, on the books in terms of being okay with it Okay. Uh, Robin has worked very, very closely with oh, oh, us, so I just appreciate that. Too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good. Okay, is there any other questions from the committee? <clears throat> well, if not, uh, if, if you uh, wouldn't mind returning to your seat for a little while, and if other questions come up before we're done, we may call you back, but right now we're going to call for more testimony. Is there any other testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Mr. Chairman, I have the town recommendation form for Faith Community Church showing the agent as Robin Erdahl. Parcel number 0536433, 7 7.14 acres. Um, current zoning as rural residential RR. What are the existing uses of adjacent lands to this parcel and are they compatible? Um, has a list of rural residential agriculture and woodland transition and rural commercial neighborhood. Is the proposal consistent with the town vision statement as found in the town's comprehensive plan indicated as yes. Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan also indicated as yes. Um, if applicable, please list recommended conditions for the Wapaka County Planning and Zoning Committee to consider. As mentioned before, the plan commission and Tom Mark voted to extend the conditional use permit to the end of 2022 because of the difficulty getting building materials. Town plan commission recommends approval signed by Jack Fulcher dated December 8th of 2021. Town board also recommends approval signed by Caroline Murphy and Kathy Caza dated December 20th of 2021. Thank you. Does the planning and zoning office have a recommendation? 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we are recommending approval of the condition use permit with the condition that the use of the facility for a school may remain in operation until December 31st, 2022. Use is not completed by this time, and I will return to the planning zoning committee for review and potential application of additional conditions. So if this gets to be something that's going to extend out much further, then there likely are other conditions that we would have to apply. But the temporary nature of this, we were comfortable with going to the end of 2022 and um, giving them as much room as possible to the state. Okay, is there any other questions from the committee? If not, we'd, we'd be in order to have a motion to approve this conditional use permit. Buck so approves the motion. I'll second Thank that. You. Thank you, moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to approve this conditional use uh, permit. All in favor, uh, let me see, roll call vote here, Muck. Yes. Kussman. Yes. Nygaard, yes, motion carries. Thank you all. Motion to close the hearing. Second. Thank you. Mo moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to close the hearing. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. On to the fourth. With that, we will call the fourth public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Charles W. and Karen J. Geiger located in the southwest quarter of the northeast quarter of section 21, town of Larrabee, lying off of US Highway 45, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, part parcel number 102113, for a petition for a zone map amendment for part of the parcel from AR Agriculture Retention to AWT Agriculture and Woodland Transition on approximately 1.9 acres to accommodate a boundary line adjustment. I will read the names of the persons notified of the hearing. Lynn Jepson, Sr., Town Chairman, Sharon Pingle, Town Clerk, David Gergutz, Town Supervisor, Jean Meyer, Town Supervisor, Dennis Wengelski, District Supervisor, Kyle Fisher, who is listed as the agent, Department of Natural Resources, Dale Rezebeck, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Kyle Zabon, Wisconsin DOT, Kelly Nicklaus, and David Muret, Wapaka County Corporation Council. David D. and Deborah L. Buntrock, Randolph L. Shusesky, Lisa Erdman et al., F.B. Dairy Facility LLP, Charles W. and Karen J. Geiger, Glover Metal Building Erectors Limited, Pam and Bob Kretzinger LLC, Stephen Hill, excuse me, Stephen Hill, George Raymond and Benjamin Huber, Jehovah's Witness Clintonville Congregation, John A. Johnson, just, Justman Family Limited Irrevocable Trust, William H. Kasubi, Kirsten Holdings LLC, Verna M. Kushel Revocable Trust, David L. and Joan J. Millard, Robert E. Jr. and Margaret F. Schilling, Mark A. Schulze, Gaylord D. and Jean C. Schweitzer Revocable Trust, Lawrence L. Schauger, and Robert and Amy Steenbach. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filled, filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on-site inspection of this property. Yes, the committee will now hear the application for Charles W. and Karen J. Yes, I believe we're getting the agent on the phone. We're calling Kyle Fisher is acting as the agent today and we're getting him on the, the phone for testimony. Okay, so it is is this a remote testimony? <laughs> yeah. It is, yes. It's on it's over time. Hey, Kyle. See, so we'll, we'll be putting him on the speaker phone, phone and just for a second. Let, let me know when uh, when I need to swear him in. Kyle's on speakerphone. Hello, good morning. Can can you hear us? Hello? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Speaker, can you can you hear us, uh, Kyle? Yeah, I can. I can just barely. Okay. I'll, I'll try and speak up. Good morning. This is Jim Nygaard. Uh, I'm going to swear you in. Can you raise your right hand? Okay. You swear you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. Thank you. 
please state your name and address and tell us what the application is about. Uh, Kyle Fisher, uh, E4191 County Road G, Herring, Wisconsin. Um, the application is for uh, Mr. Geiger to do some rezoning on his property. So this is just to uh, combine combine a couple yeah, what, parcels? What he, what he did there is he's got, uh, let's see here. He's got 101 acres of land. Highway 45 split that property. Uh, the, the, the northern part of his property, uh, the 40 was kind of split in half, not half, but there's portion of it, portions of it, remnant portions of it that fall south of Highway 45. So when he had to do the project, what he wanted me to do, um, I did a survey, I did a, a, a four lot survey. Lot one was to include his house He's got a well that's just to the east that we across the 40 line that he wanted all on that property. And then at the same time, um, he had he had to survey all this farmland. And after we got going on it, we re realized that the farmland, he had uh, different zone districts on each side of the road. So based on, on the highway. So what he did there is he um, created that parcel one to uh, encompass his home and then lot two, Three and four of the survey are all farm farm properties, and uh, he did the rezone to uh, get all the zoning districts on the same, you know, so it's within the same uh, lot. So lot one, a lot two, and lot three, and lot four are all zoned same because the forty line crossed over the highway there and left remnant parcels. So as a zone. What, what is the zoning for the parcel with this building sign? Is that still ag of some sort? It's still EWT and for lot one is EWT. Um, this particular application, we're only looking at that portion north of the highway. Kyle did a really good job explaining what's, what's happening there. Um, it's just that, that little bit that was split off by the road to the 40. Um, we gotta get that into the like zoning district to be able to combine it to make lot two. Um, the majority of lot two right now is zoned as AWT. Um, that little portion is AR from across the road there for it. So we're just, this particular hearing is just for that north of the highway to combine those together and make lot two. Sure. Right. Okay. Any, any uh, other questions from the committee? Seems to be pretty straightforward. Uh, Absolutely straight. Yep. Well, well, thank you. If uh, just just stick around a little bit in case uh, we call get some more questions, we're going to call for more testimony. Any more testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call. Any testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Mr. Chairman, I have the town recommendation form for Charles Geiger, Charles Geiger, the Steen Kyle Fisher as his agent. Um, in reference to part parcel 102113, um, current zoning district is agriculture retention. What will the proposed uses of the parcel if the rezoning is approved? This parcel will remain as farmland. The owner wants to combine that portion of parcel 102113 to parcel 102121 and continue current use. In accordance with Wisconsin State Statutes 91.48, the land is better suited for a use not allowed in the farmland preservation zoning district indicated as yes. The rezoning is consistent with any applicable comprehensive plan indicated as yes. The rezoning is substantially consistent with the county certified farmland preservation plan indicated as yes. The rezoning will not substantially impair or limit current or future agricultural use of surrounding parcels of land that are zoned for or legally restricted to agricultural use also is indicated as yes. 
recommend approval by the town plan commission signed by Lynn Jepson dated November 15th of 2021. Also recommends approval from the town board signed by Lynn Jepson and Stacy Jepson both dated November 15th of 2021. I also have a letter from Kelly Nicolaus from the DOT stating that they have no concerns with this. Okay, thank you. Does the planning and zoning office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the proposal is consistent with both the town and the county's comprehensive plan, and the proposed action will have no unreasonable impact on the surrounding land uses. So we are in favor of the application being approved. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions from the committee? If not, we'd be in order to, to have a motion. I'll make a motion to, I'll make a motion, uh, Mr. Chairman, to uh, approve this application. I'll second it. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to approve the zone map amendment. Uh, roll call vote. Kussman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to close the hearing. Second it. <clears throat> Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to close the hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. With that, we'll go to the, the next tier. We will call this fifth public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Charles W. and Karen J. Geiger, located in the northeast quarter of the northwest quarter of Section 21, Town of Larrabee. Part parcel number 1021-212 and part of a parcel located in the northwest quarter of the northeast quarter of section 21. Also town of Larrabee, part parcel number 1021-121. Lying south of Highway 45, Opaca County, Wisconsin for a petition for a zone map amendment for part of the parcels from AWT, Agriculture and Woodland Transition to AR, Agriculture Retention on approximately nine, 8.8 .8 acres to accommodate a lot combination with the neighboring property. I will read the name of the persons notified of this hearing. Lynn Jepson, Sr., Town Chairman. Sharon Pingle, Town Clerk. David Virgux, Town Supervisor. Jean Meyer, Town Supervisor. Dennis Wingelski, District Supervisor. Kyle Fisher, Agent. Department of Natural Resources, Dale Grezebeck. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Kyle Zabung. Wisconsin DOT, Kelly Nicklaus, and David Muret. Opaca County Corporation Council, David D. and Deborah L. Buntrock, Randolph L. Shoseski, Lisa Erdman et al., FB Dairy Facility LLP, Charles W. and Karen J. Geiger, Glover Metal Building Erectors Limited, Gretzinger, excuse me, Pam and Bob Gretzinger LLC, Stephen Hill, George Raymond and Benjamin Huber, Jehovah's Witnesses Clintonville Congregation, John A. Johnson, Justin Family Limited Irrevocable Trust, William H. Kasubi, Kirsten Holdings LLC, Verna M. Kushel Revocable Trust, David L. and Joan J. Millard, Roger E. Jr. and Margaret F. Schilling, Mark A. Schulze, Gaylord D. and Jean C. Schweitzer Revocable Trust, Florence L. Schauger and Robert and Amy Steenbach. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on-site inspection of this property. The committee will now hear the application for Charles W. and Karen J. Geiger. Then we have the agent on the phone. Okay, is, is uh, Kyle still there? Yep, I'm here. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll swear you in again just to be on the safe side, so please raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, yep, go ahead and explain to us. Basically the same thing here. Uh, the 40 line, um, the 40 is kind of split by the highway. The, the remaining lands, um, the 40 <coughs> to the north, are going to be rezoned to um, AR. Uh, to combine to create lots three and four of the CSM. Basically, yeah, we're taking portions of the 40s from the north uh, that are that that are part of the uh, property north of the highway, 
combining with some property with, to the 40s to the south, um, creating new lots, basically adjusting lot lines. That's the reason for the rezone. Same thing, but opposite. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Just, just a question for Lee. Do you remember what year that Highway 45 went through there? It's been a little while now. Uh, I'm, my memory fails me this morning. <laughs> maybe maybe Dennis <laughs> knows like, too, uh, yeah. Late 80s, 89, maybe not before 1990, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it... Uh, Slices through some some parcels at an angle, so yeah. Well, they, they used they used to be the railroad grade. Oh sure, railroad right. Tracks used to run on the north side of the highway. Sure, that's right. Forgot about that. Yeah. Well, this is uh, railroad grade was within it's within the uh, the current highway right of way. Yeah. So what we got here is the same song, second verse. Uh, is there is there any other questions? No. I was just wondering what's that what's that uh, land currently used for? I believe it's all Kyle. You can confirm yeah. it's all well, land. Think, yeah, it's all farmland. Everything to the south is farmland. Everything to the north is farmland, with the exception of a little portion around his house. I think he's going to keep on farming it that way too. Keep it. I think he's decent. It. It's just he's kind of setting everything up for you know for his kids if eventually in the future is what he's doing here. Sure. If they wanted to sell it or and you know he's got access not access issues but um, access points that he could put in for the DOT from the DOT. But when they did Highway 45, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it too. Is uh yeah that these access points that were granted to him by deed on the but they're not. They're not in there yet. So, but that was kind of, it started kind of snowball the project did. And then it's like, hey, we got different zone issues. And he wanted to make sure his house was separate. So that's how we ended up with a four lot to get down. Just kind of cleaned everything up for him. Thank you. Okay. Is there any other questions from the committee? If not, I'll call for more testimony. So uh, 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 Kyle, if you can just hang on there for a little while in case some more questions come up. Sure. Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any further testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony? Last call. Are there any letters? Yes, I have the town recommendation form for Charles Geiger and agent Kyle Fisher for part parcel 1021-212 and part parcel 1021-121 current zoning district of agriculture and woodland transition with a proposed zoning district of agro, agriculture retention. What will the proposed uses of the parcel be if the rezoning is approved? This parcel will remain as farmland. The purpose is to combine parcels to create lot three and four. What are the existing uses of adjacent lands to this parcel and are they compatible? The answer is agriculture and yes. Are the, is the proposal consistent with preferred land use map as found in the town comprehensive plan indicated as yes? Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan also indicated as yes? The town plan commission recommends approval signed by Lynn Jepson Sr. dated November 15th of 2021. Town board also recommends approval signed by town chair Lynn Jepson Sr. and also Stacy Jepson Town Clerk, both dated November 15th of 2021. I also have an email from Kelly Nicolaus from the DOT stating they have no concerns. Thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, we do. Um, this is the companion to the comprehensive plan amendment that we uh, 
and for our first hearing today. So this will be consistent with the comprehensive plan. Town has already adjusted their comprehensive plan for it to be consistent. And the, the proposed action will have no unreasonable adverse impact on the surrounding land uses. So we are also in favor of this application being granted. Very good. Uh, are there any, any other questions from the committee? If not, we'd be in order to have a motion to approve this zone map amendment. Yeah, I would make that motion uh, to approve the petition for the zone map amendment uh, based on the testimony that we've uh, we've he we've heard this morning. I'll second it. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to approve the zone map amendment based on uh, the information we have received. Uh, roll call vote, Kussman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to close the hearing. Second it. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to close this hearing. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Okay. Thanks, Scott. Number six. With that, we will call the sixth, sixth public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Free State LLC, located in the southwest quarter of the southeast quarter of Section 33, Town of Matson, lying along Top Road. Fire number N9792, Wapaka County, Wisconsin. Parcel number 143343 for a conditional use permit, dwelling less than 22 feet in width in the Agricultural Retention AR District on approximately 40 acres. I will read the names of the persons notified at this hearing. Wayne Federitz, Town Chairman, Patty Shambo Hill, Town Clerk, Dan Banky, Town Supervisor, Greg Hansen, Town Supervisor. Department of Natural Resources, Dale Rezebeck, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Kyle Zabung, Wapaka County Highway Office, Casey Firestorm, Wapaka County Corporation Council, Daniel J. Blank et al., Greasy LLC, Robert D. and Beth A. Prowitz, Ricky D. and Catherine C. Toady, Lori Whitman et al., Todd W. and Anthony J. Pachetta, Timothy W. and Danielle R. Legman. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on-site inspection of this property. The committee will now hear the application for Breesky LLC. Will the applicant or their agent please come forward to be sworn in to testify? They are present via telephone or Zoom meeting. Please identify yourself to be sworn in. Hey, everyone. Can you hear me? Loud clear. Yeah, I Sorry. I can hear you. Uh, All right, great. Uh, my name is Nick Mellon. Oh, go ahead. I I need to swear you in, sir. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Now now give us your name and address, and tell us what the application's about. Sure. My name is Nick Malinowski. I'm one of the members of Breeski LLC. Um, my address is 1501 Bedford Lane in Appleton, Wisconsin, 54915. Um, <clears throat> basically, we recently bought um, 40 acres for hunting land. And um, we kind of, we want to put a prefabbed, um, they're called mini barns. We found them in, um, up in Shawano. I think the um, Mennonites make them. Um, and you know, basically just to put something on the, on the property so we can stay overnight. So we don't have to drive back and forth to Appleton and Oshkosh um, when we go hunting up there. Um, I mean, that's the, the basic premise of it. So. Sure. Um, I think there was a picture of it in the packet. Yep. Uh, is, is it possible for staff to whip that up on the. Absolutely. Right there, there you go. Yep. Yep. Minus the flowers, I probably won't do that part. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
just just uh just a hunting cabin that's yeah uh, bas- yeah basically yeah. so just for clarification mr milanowski um for sanitary uh, provisions on the property or you're intending to be like a porta potty on the property yeah we're gonna put a porta potty out there we have uh sign thing from uh pnc sanitation out of black creek i can provide that we provided it to the town i'm not sure if it made it into this packet if you could forward that on to us we'll put it as part of the packet sure thank you sir okay so uh i get i Again, I'm just wondering: was there was there any conditions that the town of Matson put on this uh, uh, that that might uh, steer our questions or answer some? Not that I was aware of. So yeah. the, the only other conditions that we were going to place on it or recommend to be placed on it was that they obtain a land use permit, a building permit, and have a county approved sanitary system. Um, which they've already addressed the sanitary system. So it would just be a matter of obtaining the land use permit from our office and the building permit also from our office. Okay. As everybody's uh, pretty much good to go then. Is there any other questions from the committee? Well, if, uh, if I could ask Mr. Malinowski to just hang on for a little bit here in case uh, any more questions come up, I'm gonna call for more testimony. Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call for testimony in favor of this application. Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call for testimony in opposition to this application. Any testimony? Are there any letters? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I have the town recommendation form um, from Nick Molinowski and Grisky LLC for parcel number 143343 on 40 acres, current zoning district of agriculture retention. What are the existing uses of the adjacent lands to this parcel that are compatible? Yes, surrounded by recreation and agricultural land. Is the proposal consistent with the town vision statement as found in the town comprehensive plan indicated as yes. The main reason we purchased the land was for hunting and recreation. We intend to keep the aesthetics of the rural landscape and use the mini barn for occasional overnight stays. Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan? Also indicated as yes. This would promote protecting wildlife um, through hunting and protecting rural character. If applicable, please list recommended conditions for the Wapaka County Planning and Zoning Committee to consider. As stated above, this structure will be used as a hunting cabin for occasional overnight stays. We plan on obtaining a portable toilet for use on the property when staying there. It will get this taken care of prior to the placement of the mini barn. Town Planning Commission recommended approval signed by Dwayne Federwitz dated January 19th of 2022. The town board also recommended approval signed by Chairman Dwayne Federwitz and Town Clerk Patty Hill, both dated January 24th of 2022. Okay, thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On um, the state before, we were recommending approval with the conditions that they obtain a land use permit, a building permit, and have a county approved sanitary system on the property to serve the sanitary needs of the dwelling. I think we'll be okay without any flowers in this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are there any other questions from the committee? If not, we'd be in order to have a motion. Make a motion approved. Second. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to approve the conditional use permit. Roll call vote. Muck. Yes. Kussman. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to close the hearing. Second it. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to close the hearing. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. Number seven. With that, we will call the seventh public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for David Schertz et al. 
located in the northeast quarter of the northwest quarter and the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter of section 15, town of Bear Creek, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, parcel number 01-15241, for a petition for a zone map amendment of the parcel from 8E Agriculture Enterprise to CV Conservancy District on approximately 45.61 acres to accommodate a property split, no available development rights. I will read the names of the persons notified. Doug Banky, Town Chair. Carrie Griefentrog, Town Clerk. Richard Rowan, Town Supervisor and District Supervisor. Pat Huss, Town Supervisor. Department of Natural Resources, Dale Rezebeck. U.S. Army Corps of Engin Engineers, Kyle Zapone. Daniel Schertz, Wapaka County Corporation Council. James F. and Susan C. Clinton. Brian L. and Stephen D. Higgins. Bruce E. Hopp et al. Bruce E. Hopp et al. Dirk E. Hopp. Thomas L. Lehman et al. David Schertz et al. Colby F. Schertz. Gregory P. and Tasha M. Sumita Revocable Living Trust. Kevin A. Tim. Hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on site inspection of this property. The committee will not hear the application for David Schertz at all. Will the applicant or their agent please come forward to be sworn in? Hello. Would Hi. you please? I see you got your right hand raised. So, uh, is the testimony you're about to give the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you. Please state your name and address and uh, have a seat and, and uh, tell us what the application is about. Daniel Schertz, N11667, Highway 22, Clinton, Wisconsin. And I'm part owner of this. David, David Schertz is my brother. Okay. Okay. There are seven, there are seven of us that right now that are on the ownership. So okay, so that, that's the ATL part, okay. So th this parcel uh, looks to be uh, uh, wetlands for the most part, or? Yes, a lot of wetlands. Uh, there's a creek that runs through it. You can barely see it, but it does run through it. But uh, there's a uh, lot of trees too, uh, but a lot of marsh grass. So, so the, the intention, the intention is just to leave it for hunting or? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, we, we don't see this zoning designation a whole lot. So uh, it's just uh, a little so bit different. Just to clarify, you guys are looking at splitting the property, right? It's to be yes, uh, the, like my sister and one brother lives out in Idaho. Other brother, they don't use it at all. So you just want to get they want to sell their part. So it's gonna go down to two two owners. So okay. Two owners the, the, the trust is one and selling the other one, or but between the trusts still no, it won't be no trust, it'll be just two separate owners. The trust separate. will be gone. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So then just a little background on this one. This is a this is a brand. I think this is the first. This is the first one parcel we use the conservancy district for. Um, since there aren't any development rights and it doesn't meet a lot of the development standards for it, um, the conservancy district allows us to create this without the development rights for for that, with the understanding that these this parcel or these parcels um, aren't going to be developed. So we're, it doesn't allow any structures or anything like that to be developed. It actually, we have a deed restriction that we have to report on the deeds so that any future um, purchasers of the property are aware of the fact that there are are no co-development a lot on this, which in this particular case, the whole property is, is right. there's it was a couple of high spots, there. but there's no building mistakes. Right, you could get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. there, That's interesting. So there, there, there's no development rights, and I'm, uh, what, what is there for access to this parcel? I'm looking at the top of the map here, and okay, there's, there's a driveway. Okay, it's 33, a right away. No, a right -away. Okay. So, so the current, yeah, little flagpole that they have going up there is 24 feet. Um, they don't, it'll need to be expanded up to 33 feet. 
um, for the for the expansion. Um, they can do it by easement. And these are Clintons that own the adjacent yes. land out there um, for it. So there'll be a little adjustments that have to be made. They wouldn't have to exchange any land. They could do it by easement um, just to give them proper access to the road in the future. Is the easement recorded on lot two or lot one or combination or? Probably a combination of the two. Combination. Okay. The existing access is 24 feet. So we're only talking about nine feet um, to go across. So they, they could do it in a number of different manners. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I've, okay. talked to my, I've talked to my cousin, Jimmy Clinton already, and he, he's okay with it. We haven't decided which way we're going to do it yet, but that's in the future. Right, and we don't have we don't have the preliminary certified survey map yet. We want to make sure that everything was going to be approved um, right. before they put any money towards towards that. And in this case, they had to rezone the whole parcel, so um, we were able to accommodate that. Okay. okay. So, so the the access is adequate for what they need. It will be for it for now. Be. When when they want to split it, we'll have to address the easement. Um, okay. Access. Okay. Well, if, if they're okay with that access, then uh, then I am too, I guess. But uh, yeah, I just, sometimes these things are easier to do right now than if, if they, if this gets split up later and then it's like, well, how are we gonna figure out an access if we divide this again? Right, and my, my understanding is that you can confirm her, there's not gonna be a lot of time waiting after this. We're trying no. to get it done, right? right. Okay. 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 Well, interesting. Is there any other questions from the committee? Just to make it clear, that is a deeded access, correct? It's an owned access. It's just owned right? as it stands, yep. Owned. Yep. So deeded. that, you can see the That'll be portion. That's part of lot three. Yeah, so if you zoom in, you can kind of see that it's all connected. So, so lot three, that this access is actually part of lot three. It's all, it's all connected. It's like a flagpole lot. Now, nowadays, if we did something like that, we would have it identified as an alt lot um, that wasn't required at the time for this. But it is, it is all part of lot three. Thank you. Well, that answers my question too. I was uh, just wasn't sure how that was was going to be recorded. If it was an easement or if it was deeded, like like uh, Supervisor Kusman asked. Thank you. Is there any other questions from the committee? If not, I'll call for more testimony. If Mr. Schertz could just hang around for a little bit. Is there any other testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in favor of this application? Third call for testimony in favor of this application. Is there any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call for testimony in opposition to this application. Any testimony? Are there any letters? Yes, I have the town recommendation form for Danielle Schertz on parts, parcel number 0115241 on 45.6 acres. Current zoning district is marked as agriculture enterprise with a proposed zoning district of conservancy. What will be the proposed uses of the parcel if the rezoning is approved? It is indicated as recreation. In accordance with Wisconsin state statute 91.48, the land is better suited for a use not allowed in the farmland preservation zoning district indicated as yes. The rezoning is consistent with any applicable comprehensive plan indicated as yes. The rezoning is substantially consistent with the county certified farmland preservation plan indicated as yes. And the rezoning will not substantially impair or limit current or future agricultural use of surrounding parcels of land that are zoned or legally restricted to agricultural use also indicated as yes. Um, the town planning commission recommends approval um, signed by Daniel Hansen dated December 13th of 2021. Town board also recommends approval 
signed by Doug Banky, town chairman, and Carrie Griefenchock, Griefenchock, town clerk, both dated December 13th of 2021. Thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the Conservancy District, new to us, um, this is a new one for us, but it is consistent with the Farmer Preservation Program and also the A plan for the, the area for it. And the proposed action will have no unreasonable uh, adverse impact on the surrounding land uses. We will work with them to get the, uh, the, the deed restriction um, taken care of, hopefully, before County Board for that, but we are absolutely in favor of this being uh, approved. Okay, thank you. Does the committee have any more questions? No. Okay, if not, we'd be in order to have a motion for the zone map amendment. Also move. Second. Thank you, moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to approve the zone map amendment. A roll call vote, Muck. Yes. Kussman. Yes. Nygaard, yes. Motion carries. Motion to close the hearing. Second. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to close the hearing. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Number eight. With that, we will call this eighth public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Lynn O'Gration, located in the northeast quarter of the southwest quarter of Section 4, Town of Mukwa, lying off of State Road 54, fire number N8265, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, part parcel number 15043184 for a petition for a zone map amendment for part of the parcel from agriculture and woodland transition AWT to rural industrial intensive RII on approximately two acres to accommodate a boundary line adjustment with an adjacent property. I will read the names of the persons notified at this hearing. Jim Kearns, town chair. Jeanette Zelinski, town clerk. Lee Shaw, town supervisor. Matthew Mansky, town supervisor. Bernie Ritchie, District Supervisor, Wisconsin DOT, Kelly Nicholas, and David Muret, Department of Natural Resources, Dale Rezebeck, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Kyle Zabung, GFL Solid Waste Midwest, Wapaka County Corporation Council, Janet Bauer, Ricky L. Danke, Darla D. DeRochers, James H. Bossbender, GFL Solid Waste Midwest LLC, Terry R. Lind and Renee R. Gration, Lynn O. Gration, Betty Larson, and Brenda L. and Dwayne W. Grove, Brenda L. and Dwayne W. Grove, Otto E. and Deborah J. Knuth, Betty Larson, Paul J. and Maureen J. Mueller, Stephen O. and Christine L. Quintance, John Rutzinski and P. Beresford, David G. and Wendy Stern, Martin J. Wilson and Martin J. Wilson et al. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on-site inspection of this property. The committee will now hear the application for Lynn O'Brien. Will the applicant please step forward? Just let me both come up. Both already oh. Sworn. Oh. Mr. Okay. Chairman, both, both have already been sworn in today. Okay, well, thank you for uh, sticking around. It's uh, getting to be a little bit longer morning, but again, if you could state your name and address and tell us what the application's about. Lynn Ration, uh, E8297, Highway 54. It's about uh, rezoning that land to the existing business. Great, GL yeah, this, this is just the second step of a two, two step process here. So uh, uh, I don't imagine anything's changed since, since uh, we did the first step here a half hour ago. <laughs> <I'm like laughs> uh, I don't have any other questions. Uh, does anybody else? No. Nope. Okay, well, uh, thank you, Mr. Grayson. Just just hang around a little bit longer and we're gonna call for more testimony to, to uh, try and make sure we do this right. 
Is there any further testimony in favor of this application? You want me any further you? testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any further testimony in favor of this application? Is there any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Hey, Mr. Chairman, I think Lee Shaw um, on Zoom may want to. Do you have anything that you'd like to say, Lee? Can we? Oh, Lee, it looks like you're muted, Lee. We Do we need to you. swear him in? Let's uh, let's let's get let's get our audio going here first. Yeah. Um, we want to give him a call. Lee, oh, we can't hear you, Lee. That's, uh, um, you call, call the office, yeah, here, Lee, if you can hear me, call I'm going to have these birds in the background in the future. I kind of like that. Hey, Lee. All right, Lee. Uh, Lee. Yep. I got you on speakerphone. So, do I need to swear him in? Yep. Hi, Lee. This is Jim Nygaard. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, please raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Thank you. Okay. Now we're official. Can you take the phone a little bit closer to you, Lee? We can't hear you too well. So just, just to uh, reiterate what you said there, Lisa, everybody can hear. You said that there is some industrial use in the, the area already and that the, the proposal is to give them more storage around there and that the township has not seen any issues with that. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. Well, thank, you. thank you for repeating that. I, I couldn't hear a word. So. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'll call for testimony again. Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Okay, I can't see what's going on in the room, so let me know if I'm skipping something here. Nope, you're nope. Going just fine. You're just fine, Chair. Nope. Okay, thank you. Uh, are there any letters? Yes, I have the town recommendation form for the immigration for parcel 15-04-31-8. Um, current zoning district is agriculture and woodland transition AWT with a proposed zoning district of rural industrial intensive. Is the proposal consistent with preferred land use as found in the town, town comprehensive plan indicated as yes? Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan also indicated as yes? Um, Town Plan Commission recommends approval signed by Lee Shaw dated October 20th of 2021. The Town Board also recommends approval 
signed by Jim Kearns and Jeanette Zielinski, dated December 14th of 2021. I also have an email from Kelly Nicolaus from the DOT stating that she has no concerns. Thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think like you said before, this is the second part of two halves. Um, the comprehensive plan being the, our first action of the day here. So being that we will be consistent with that once that's approved, I think that we are in favor of this application we are approving as well. Very good. Is there any other questions from the committee at this point? If not, we'd be in order to have a, a motion for this own map amendment. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to approve this zone map am amendment. Uh, roll call vote. Kussman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to close the hearing. Second it. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to close the hearing. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, so we got a few bullet points. Uh, how's everybody doing? Do we need a break? No, I'm fine. We're good okay, here, Chair. No, I'm up. fine. Yep, uh, been been limiting the coffee this morning, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we got a uh, a couple after the fact uh, waiver requests. Kirby right. Caitlin. So. Okay, so the first one we got here to Curtis and Caitlin Johnson. Uh, you, I got the, the letter that they had wrote. I got it up on the screen here. Um, so essentially what, what happened here is that the, the, so the town of Harrison is not under county zoning. They're under town zoning. However, the Shoreland, uh, our Shoreland jurisdiction still extends within the uh, town zoned areas. And so in the town of Harrison, if you are building a structure within a shoreland jurisdiction, we still need to be issuing permits at the county level as well as at the town level. And what had happened here is, and both of these are, have a, a similar story to it, was that they had contacted the town, the town had told them that they don't need any uh, additional permits, and they come to find out later that they did in fact need some additional permits from our office. So, so what was, what was, what did they build? Was it like a garage or, a, or something? Was it a house or? Uh, so the first one looks to be a storage shed. Storage shed. Storage shed. It's like they were charged $150 for that. So the after the fact would be 75. Yep, 75 for the after the fact on that. And then this one, they built a garage. Garage. And so this one, this one would have been the $300 for the garage after the fact was an extra 300. Yeah. We, we, we have had conversations with the township and it sounds like they were making some revisions to their process in terms of putting the notification on their permit card to let them know if they need to contact us. Um, but that was after both of these yep. situations. It's also worthy to note that we've had conversation with the town of Harrison in the past um, in, in regards to this very issue, uh, letting them know that they need to contact us because we're, we're, we're trying not to put the people of the town in a bad position like, like these folks have found themselves with. And it's, it's not just the, I mean, they have to affect these, yes, but we, our concern is really that something's going to be placed where it can't get big. And then, yeah. then it's a problem, yeah. a big problem. Um, we, but we've, we have reached out to the township and you know, had some discussions with them. Um, hopefully this discussion that we had last will go a little farther, but we probably should communicate more. Yeah. I, I don't know how we can do it different because this is, if, if my thoughts right now, if we give in to this, then uh, what's gonna happen in the town of Farmington? where we got the chain. So uh, 
the the one permit isn't that big a deal anyway but uh i suppose it is to the to the property owner but 75 ain't much but 300 that's yeah you know that's a that one a hurts a little more who, right uh, been told by a supposedly a town official that you're not required to and that's the, yes that is what complicates this one a little bit is that that person they have their own zoning person right who told them yeah. they didn't need this right. you know and i i i totally understand where you're going with that mr chairman i agree entirely um in this case though it, it sounds like they were given bad information yeah. by somebody with some authority to tell them differently right um, these are both from the both in the town of harrison, harrison. both yep. in harrison yeah yeah yep. Well, I'm I'm okay with uh, either way the committee wants to lean on this, uh, being that it's it's uh, township zoning that that gave bad information. Uh, township zoning probably should have got some penalty instead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they get right. for saying that, but. And again, ninety-nine percent of the time with the other townships, we're we're, yeah. we're looking to get the after the fact be applied. But this one, it feels like they kind yeah. of got bad information from somebody that knew better, right. should have known better. Right. Do we have to do these separately, or do yeah, I would take separate action. They're yeah. two separate items. Yeah, right. that, that is the tricky yeah. part. Is that well, these no. people tried to do the best they could. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you know, and they just got bad information from the town. So. I get, I'd make a motion to uh, rescind their. After the fact, the thank you. Is I, there I a, got a question, Jim? Sure. Uh, were, the, were they told by the township that they just didn't need any permits? That was the end of the conversation. Um, yeah, the township zoning. Yes. At least from what it sounds like, the township zoning person told them that they didn't need the CS for. But didn't township. realize that it was shoreland ordinance that that kind of superseded this. Correct. I believe right. that's yeah. Yeah. again if this was in a in a township that we have jurisdiction over, I mean the township officials are telling people to come see us hundred percent of the time. Um, this one is a bit of an outlier, or these two I believe are outliers to the norm. Yeah, that's 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 too bad, but uh, that's not our fault. I'll right. second that motion. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman. Yeah. So should, should we clarify it? So yeah. the motion was to waive the, the after the facts. To waive the after the facts, correct. Is that what you wanted, Dennis? Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. Okay. Yep. Moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to waive the after the fact uh, fees for Curtis and Caitlin Johnson and Joseph Brown. Uh, do we need roll call vote or just voice? Voices. Voice vote on both. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Thank you. Yeah. And then we need a motion for the second one yeah. as well for the Joseph Brown one. Oh, I'll okay. okay. For the sec I'll make a motion for the second one also. And I'll second that. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Muck, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to waive the after the fact fee for Joseph Brown. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Thank you everybody. Uh, zoning vehicle update. Okay, <laughs> so the, the, uh, the update on the planning and zoning vehicle and, and it's, it's, it's actually really good news. Um, we were just notified that they actually have a build date now set up for the for the vehicle, and that is set up for February 28th. So, uh, in in a, about a week, a little in just less, uh, just under a week, they're going to start building it. So, that's good news in the sense that now we at least know that they are in fact going to be building it soon. Um, luckily, uh, Becky, our, our uh, our clerk here used to work at Neville Motors for quite some time, and so she went over there and talked to him and got the got the the, the skinny on what's going on there. So we're very grateful for that. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, just uh, a little sidebar here: <laughs> Nancy and I traded car on the way down here, so uh, we we'd had that big car, 
that we wore out and we traded that at 20, 248,000 miles and got a, a smaller car, which uh, we got spoiled by the big car. And we thought, well, we'll uh, just start looking. And we ended up trading at Orlando here at the Lincoln dealer. And uh, there's a little bit of a car shortage here but nothing like in Wisconsin. And right now my brother is down here visiting with us and we picked him up from the airport and, and he's uh, head of commercial lending for Community First Credit Union. And one of his accounts is Bergstrom. And he's looking at these car lots here that are full. And he says, I do not know what in the world is going on because uh, uh, he meets with John Bergstrom and John Hogarty on a very regular basis because they're such a big account. And uh, for whatever reason, the Midwest isn't getting the cars, but Florida, the car lots are mostly full. Uh, Volkswagen and uh, that company, there's, there's empty spots in the parking lots, but uh, the rest of them are all look like normal. Mm. And we, we got this car, <laughs> uh, it really, I think it was some divine intervention. We got this 2014 Lincoln MKT with 3,000 miles on, and we traded for $12,000. Wow. So we're hoping it'll be serve us good for, for quite some time. But uh, uh, yeah, it, it's a different world down here as far as the car business. So, so I guess what I'm hearing from you, uh, Chairman, is that the Planning and Zoning Office should all head down to Florida. You know, and, um, it, this. It, how many it, rooms it, you got? In yeah, there? How many rooms? Well, we you know, plenty of people here that want to get um, stay by your we'll, place. We'll figure something out. You know? <laughs> uh, yes. It, it's going to get. It had been cool here, but it's going to get a little warm today. They're predicting a high in the mid 80s. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. yeah. You're all <laughs> welcome. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 hey, say, I want to compliment your new hire. Uh, that was a lot of reading today, and and she did really well, and she did really good on the names too. Yeah. So, say, uh, yeah, say, good Mr. job. Chairman, yeah. Overall, Becky has been doing a spectacular job. Fantastic job. Couldn't Thank be more happy. She did a lot better than I'd have done, so I'm glad she was doing it too. She's That's a lot of reading. I did too. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a lot of reading. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for accommodating me from remote, and thank you, Dennis, for uh, for making it work too, so that we had a quorum and uh, do our best to keep things rolling here. So, uh, what what are you needing for another meeting now before I get back? So March 22nd is what we're planning on for our next one. Oh, I'll be back then. Yeah. Yep. We were hoping to get you and Dwayne both back in. And <coughs> what is the date on that? Uh, March 22nd. I think we're going a little earlier at 9.30 on March 22nd. We scheduled out a class one for that one already. Yep. Does it look like it'll be uh, quite a bit or just yeah, normal? Or? It's, yeah, the agenda's already filling yeah. up we have what similar, you say? similar to the date uh 9 30. okay that's Probably 10 o'clock 9 30. 9 30. 9 30. Yep. yep okay um our our inbox is starting to thin out a little bit but it's just in time for construction season so i i would not think that there will be any uh moss growing on these folks here yep okay well uh planning meeting dates then uh do you want to figure next february in tarpon springs florida <laughs> yeah, there you go done, done deal yeah, yeah. Done deal. start Maybe shopping january. on the flights <laughs> that's gonna be a heck of a mileage bill yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just saying there are direct flights from allegiant from appleton to st pete which is uh 25 minutes from our house and yeah. st pete is a uh, airport Maybe just a little bit bigger than Appleton. It's real easy to navigate. So, awesome. yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Just leave the key under the mat. I'll be there. Yep, leave the light <laughs> on for us. <laughs> okay. Motion to adjourn. 
We are adjourned. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. See you guys. See ya. See you guys.